Ten years ago, the Grand Dame of the Den took her seat. I'm not here to lose money. I'm here to make money. Famous for her no-nonsense approach... Stop talking over me. Um, my apologies. The press have even compared her to an EastEnders character. I'm irritated. Yes, I'm blinking irritated. You're feeling very uncomfortable at this moment. You damn well ought to be, aren't you? Every time somebody raises an issue, you're, yep, got it, back at you. <sighs> Bramble, jump. But there is a way to get on her good side. Yeah. Before you say anything, there's my money. <laughs> You've got dogs, there's my money. <laughs> Gorgeous dogs. She loves pets almost as much as she loves patents. Well, I was about to say I'd like to see the patent. I'll find it. Oh, sorry. It's, um... <laughs> Absolutely they... understand how the patent system works. Do you know, I hate to be boring. I'm going to have to look at the patent. And she's especially good when it comes to manipulating digits. I think this is right up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> is it because I do that? <laughs> Deborah is the queen of the den. She's our in-house lawyer and she's mother hen. <laughs> Three words to describe Deborah. Absolutely blooming brilliant. There can't be anyone who hasn't heard of Dragon's Den. You must, in your everyday life, everyone must know who you are and must want to talk to you about it. What I love is it's not always attached to me. Sometimes people would just say, oh, we're having a Dragon's Den style. You know, it's just incidental. It's not because I'm there. It's just enter the vernacular. I also love, there's a, there's a whole age group of people who've grown up with it. You know, so they're sort of 18, 19 now. They talk about business like it's in their DNA. That's brilliant. Now, I spend a lot of my time being shouted at in the street and people shouting pointless at me out of uh, van windows. What do people shout at you? Oh, all the time. I'm out. It's like, you know, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> how, many times, how many times a day would you say? All, I mean, I, if, if I'm walking through a train station, without exception, two or three shouts. You know, it's, oh, hello, I'm out. Now, do you think you will ever... Uh, utter those famous words, I'm out for good, and leave the den, or are you, are you with us for the foreseeable future? Do you know, every year I wonder, but mm -hmm. every year, as soon as we start filming, I think, oh, I love this. This feels like home. This is what I do. So as long as I love it, I'll carry on doing it. Q. Amy Wordsworth from Greater Manchester, who entered the den hoping for investment in her line of bath products aimed at the most sensitive of skins. Good Bubble is the UK's first range of superfruit toiletries for children. I started the range after researching the natural products and personal care markets and finding there to be an increasing concern around the safety of ingredients in personal care products, especially in children's toiletries. Thank you for listening. Would you like to see the products? I'd like yes, to, please. Yeah. Pitch over, but Sarah Willingham was about to pile on the pressure as she got stuck into the product's credentials. Have you tried this with kids with eczema? It has been tried on children with eczema, but it's a tricky one because um, it's not been clinically tested, it's been dermatologically tested, so it is kind to the skin. What does it retail for? It's £3.99 for the 400ml bubble bath. See, I think that's really pricey. All our competitors that offer all of these benefits are at least £1 to £2 more expensive. OK. Whilst Amy was quite nervous, she was also very strong in her rebuttal of any of the queries that were raised by Sarah. So I was impressed with her confidence in her product. Impressed maybe, but still a dragon. And Deborah was quick to have a pop at Amy's bubbly branding. How do I know quickly and easily how, why it's good for me? Um, on the front you'll see it says 98% natural ingredients. It does, but it's very, um, you've got to commit to read it. Right. Good branding kind of shouts you in your, in, yeah. in your face. It is true I wasn't keen on the branding and I genuinely believed that I would be the person to help her with that. But of course, I was also sending a clear signal to my fellow dragons to say, not that good. That's called tactics. And in this case, it looked like it was working. When did Ocado list you? Um, the, the start of this year, January. And since then, you've sold how many through Ocado? Um, about, it's about £3,500 worth. Is that in line with everybody's expectations? 
that su superseded my expectations. It did? Yeah. My biggest concern out of everything you've said is that you've been in the cardo since the beginning of the year and really hardly sold anything. Right. And I just think you're going to need to put a lot of money behind it to compete with the big boys because we're talking some of the biggest of all of the boys are in this market. I think 60 grand is hardly going to scratch the surface to be perfectly honest with you. I wish you all the very best, I really do. Um, but I'm afraid it's not something I'm going to invest in, so I'm out. You are at a very infant stage in your business. It's too small for me to invest in. And for that reason, I'm out. I was getting more and more excited because I was already interested, and the more they went out, the more opportunity I had. Amy, I'm out. I started a line of questioning, and then it all seemed to go wrong for Amy. You have basically got no business at the moment. I'm not being funny, Amy, but honestly, you have no business. Sorry, I've just gone quite lightheaded. Oh. Are you OK? Do you want to sit down? Sit down. Wait, can we... Do you want to sit down? Don't fall over, do you? Don't, don't fall over. Do you want to sit down? Here we go. There you go. I honestly thought it was pitch over, because she really looked very, very wobbly. You OK? Yeah. It's fine. Very... It's fine. But Amy was determined that her dizzy spell would not spell the end of her time in the den. Do this. Amy could have just crumbled and walked away, and she didn't. She stood up, she finished her pitch. I mean, that, to me, shows great strength. I'm going to disagree with all of my fellow dragons. I am going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money, but I want 40% of the business. I'd made my offer, Peter was still on the end, and I thought, oh, please, just go out. <laughs> and I can make my investment, and that's it. <laughs> but you never know with Mr Jones. Whilst I'm very happy to go against Deborah on, on many, many different investments, if I'm passionate enough that I could do a better job. Um, actually, no, I'd go against her even if I didn't believe I could do a better job, I'd just blag it. But. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the reality is that it's just very small. I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and that's the reason why I'm going to say I'm out. Four dragons out, one dragon in. Decision time. And for Amy, it was a no-brainer. Deborah, I'd like to take your offer. Thank you very much. Excellent. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank Good you. decision. I was so pleased because I, I could see we were on the same page, and, um, no, really pleased. It's three years since Amy had her wobble in the den and at the Wordsworth Family Factory, where her product is made, it's very much a case of poetry in motion. And today could be a landmark day in the evolution of Amy's business. This afternoon, Amy and Deborah are going to the lab to find out the results of clinical trials. And if they're positive, well, it could take the baby products business to a whole new level, so it's dead excited. Amy's production line has been running at full tilt since the den, with a nationwide order from Boots to Fulfill, amongst others. Hello! Hi, oh, This is brilliant. I love a good factory. You must be so chuffed, Amy. So chuffed. Yeah. yeah. Should we go somewhere quieter and have a little chat and a catch-up? Amy now has 27 products in her range. So this is the lab where the products are made. And a positive result from the tests today would mean that at least some of those products could have a paediatrician-approved sticker added, lending them crucial clinical credibility. And it's been three years, hasn't it, since you were on Dragon's Den having your moment? Yeah. And it worked. Work. You got a dragon? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. No, not a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> the dragon. Yeah. 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 Good point, good point. <laughs> What's it worth in terms of hard cash when it comes to this label? 
I think we could be on track to hit a revenue of about a million by the end of the next financial year. Wow, it's huge. Yeah. Who knew a little purple label could be worth so much? <laughs> <laughs> so you're ready for the results? I'm ready. Really ready for We're the results. Ready. We've talked about it for a long yeah. time. It's great to get them. Please give us the results. <laughs> Can I come? Absolutely. I'm good at hand holding a hug if we need them. <laughs> Just 15 minutes away from the bubble base in this unassuming industrial estate is one of the leading cosmetic microbiological testing labs in the UK. OK, everybody, I'll welcome you to our lab. CEO Angela Davis and her team have been overseeing the trials that could, if successful, be utterly transformative to the business. And now it's the moment of truth. Now, Angela, I know you're tightly holding the results there, aren't you? But before you tell us what they are, can you just explain what it all means? Yeah, OK. The testing isn't there to prove that the product cures eczema, but what it's there for is to make sure that, that her product does not make it worse. Is, is the her product gentle enough so that you can put it onto a baby or onto a small child? Yeah, and that is a big deal, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're itching to know the results. Yes. So, so yeah, can sorry. you stop talking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, OK. As you know, we did a lot of upfront work on, on looking at the fragrances. I just want to tell you, Amy, every one of them were fine. So you've got that for Yay! everything. Oh, well done. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's brilliant. Thank you. You've got yeah. the proof, and that proof is worth a lot of money as well for your yeah. business. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we've jumped into a different league. That's what that's done. That's yeah. just stepped us into a, into a whole different ball game. It's been amazing to share this with Deborah. She's been such a part of the journey um, that to be able to get the results with her today um, is just something I'm so proud of. Gosh, it's funny, <laughs> isn't it? Because I was pretty confident, but I actually know, it makes a lot of difference when yeah, you actually absolutely. hear it. Yeah, it really yeah, makes a yeah, difference. You always yeah. question them, don't you? What is really satisfying for me, this is, this is, I love this about Dragon's Den. I've watched Amy grow. Fantastic. Over time, Amy is taking more ownership, more control. And actually, that means that she's not relying on me so much. And as far as I am concerned, that is a perfect investment. 